Question 12 then from the 2022 Advanced Higher Paper 2. We've got complex numbers and a trig identity. It's a sort of standard question for 133 for eight marks. First part, just for one mark. If Z is this complex number expressed in polar form there, use de Moivre's theorem to state an expression for Z to the four. Well, that simply means that Z to the four will be cos theta plus I sine theta to the power four. So that would just be cos four theta plus I sine four theta. That gets the mark. Now part B, state and simplify the binomial expansion of this, of z to the power 4. Well, cos theta plus i sine theta to the power 4 would be, I better write it down here because it's going to stretch for five terms and each of those terms is going to have a constant, a cos and a sine in it. Well, power 4 coefficients, if you don't remember them, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 3, 1, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. So, the binomial expansion will be 1 lot of the cos theta to the power 4, the i sine theta to the power 0, plus 4 times, cos theta to the power 3, i sine theta now climbs up to power 1, and so on. Spelling it all out like that gets the mark because that's the binomial expansion, but now you've got to tidy it all up. So the favourite parts would be, well, that's just a 1, so the coefficient's still 1, so I don't need to show it. So that first term is just cos to the 4 theta. Now the next one, the coefficients, it's just power 1, so it's just an i, so it's going to be plus 4i. Cos cubed theta, sine theta. Now in the next one you've got i squared, so that's negative 1, so this will be minus 6 cos squared theta sine squared theta. The next one, i cubed, well that'll be minus 1 times another i, so that's minus 4i down to just cos theta, and still climbing here to sine cubed theta. Now i to the power 4 is negative 1 times negative 1, so it's back to positive, that's just 1 because it's power zero, so that'll just be plus sine to the four theta. Now the remaining two marks was just forgetting this whole thing, but they've just split it into two parts. For instance, I've said, you get one mark if you get three of them correct, and you get both marks if you've got all of it correct. I think I would, be t I would tend to tidy that up though into its two parts, into the real part and the imaginary part. So I'd probably finish off by saying, well, picking out the real parts, Anything that doesn't involve i would be cos to the 4 minus 6 cos squared theta sine squared theta plus sine squared theta, sine to the 4 theta rather. That's the real part. And then the imaginary part would be, we've got, I'll just put plus, and they're both 4i, aren't they? So plus 4i times cos cubed theta sine theta minus cos theta sine cubed theta. No, it didn't ask you to do that. Could have left that four inside, so it explicitly said i times it. Maybe I should have left it inside. Part C then for two marks. Hence, show that cos four theta is eight cos to the power four theta minus 8 cos squared theta plus 1. Well, cos 4 theta was the real part of z to the 4, which means it would correspond to the real part of the expansion, which I've already separated out here, because otherwise you just have to pick out the real parts. So maybe I'll give the reason for that. Equate real parts. And if you equate the real parts, you'll have this. Cos 4 theta from the original expression, will be cos to the 4 theta 
minus 6 cos squared theta sine squared theta plus sine to the 4 theta from the expansion. So equating the real parts gets a mark. Now you've just got to tidy it into the form that they want, which only involved cosines. So that's fine, because that's just a cosine. Cos squared is fine, but sine squared isn't. But sine squared plus cos squared makes 1. So sine squared is 1 minus cos squared. This is a bit worse because it's sine to the power 4. Well, if sine squared gives you this, sine to the 4 would be the square of that. 1 minus cos squared theta, all squared. Now I've just got to do all of this to get the answer. So if I spell that out, might not have enough room here. I'll have cos to the 4 theta minus 6 whoa, cos squared theta, but plus 6 cos to the 4 theta, cos squared times cos squared, and then this square of a bracket squaring the first, twice the product, that'll be 2 cos squared theta, square the last, cos to the 4 theta. Now you just tidy it up to get the final result. So cos 4 theta will be, we've got many cos to the 4s, we've got 1, 2 and 6 is 8, that was what was required. Many cos squares have we got? We've got minus 6, minus 2, that's minus 8. And then, apart from that, we've got a plus 1. That gets the last mark. Second part of C, then. Show that sine theta caught... 4 theta, not cos 4 theta, but cot 4 theta, can be written in terms of cos only for two marks. Well, cot is upside down, it's a reciprocal of tan. So instead of sine over cos, it'll be cos over sine. So cot 4 theta would be cos 4 theta, which I've got already, over sine 4 theta, which would be the imaginary part. That's this part here, remembering that 4 pops in. Will I have enough room for this? So I've got a fraction here. Just have to keep it all small then. So cos 4 theta was 8 cos to the power 4 theta minus 8 cos squared theta plus 1. Now sine 4 theta is the imaginary part. Maybe I'll put that back in again. So that'll be 4 cos cubed theta sine theta minus 4 cos theta sine cubed theta. Now doing that part gets you one mark because what you've got to do next is make it in terms of cos only and have this not just as cot but as sine theta cot. But you'd want to do that anyway by taking away these awkward single signs because it's only sine squared you can change neatly into coses. So taking that across and multiplying would give me sine theta Cot 4 theta equals, well the top's fine, 8 cos to the 4 theta minus 8 cos squared theta plus 1. The single signs have gone, so I've got 4 cos cubed theta minus 4 cos theta sine squared theta. Maybe we'll just put this bit over here. So, bottom's fine. Here for this part, cos cubed theta, that'll be minus 4 cos theta, sine squared is 1 minus cos squared. Let's well, ditto on top. So finally, bring that across and tidy it up. So the top again just stays the same, same numerator. So tidying it up. From this, I'm going to have a minus 4 cos theta and a plus 4 cos cubed. So that 4 cos cubed can add on to that 4 cos to make an 8 cos cubed theta and then minus a 4 cos theta. Now you get the last mark.